Hey guys, how we doing? Thought I'd do something a little bit different. How about an on the water viewing of the modification I've done to my 2019 Bass Tracker Classic. All right, I'll start up front, work our way back. We got the G-Force Eliminator prop nut with the Minn Kota Edge 45, still the stock trolling motor. I might upgrade it at some point, maybe not. The GT54 transducer. As you can see, it does fit. It's a little tight, but it works. I got the upgraded steel cable for the trolling motor. Because the one that comes with will rot and break on you. We got the Garmin 93 UHD Echo Map on a Decket mount. Comfort Troll Deluxe Recess Trolling Motor Tray. They do come in a bunch of different colors. So Google that, go on their website, check it out. Got the butt seat. And I know a lot of the guys have asked about uh, rod holders for the Tracker Classic. Well, Scotty makes some clamp-on rod holders that'll clamp right onto the side of the gunnel. And then you can actually take this rod holder out, mount a fish finder. There's a few different options you can put on her. Works pretty decent. Got the three-piece rod holder. Changed out the stock rod holder mounts for a set of Berkeley rod mounts. As you can see, you can add a couple extra rods there if you want to double them up in the tubes. Um, I don't use my live well. It's just for storage. Got a rod bungee right there. And since I don't use the live well for storage, see a lot of guys have a problem with bumping this light and it turns on. Well, since I don't use the live well, I went ahead and hooked the aerator switch to that light and disconnected the aerator. So now if that switch gets bumped, it doesn't turn on unless you throw that switch. So I think that works pretty good. Absolute best cell phone holder you're going to find for these boats or any boats, four-wheelers, anything, is this Ram Quick Grip. A little expensive, I think it was around 80 bucks, but this thing will hold up through a hurricane. On the console, we got another 9-inch Garmin UHD. I just put this little riser, this red riser here, just so that when my hands are up here, you can see the unit above my knuckles. That's all that's for. Little power switch right here. Turns this unit on and off so you don't accidentally leave it on or anything. 12 volt receptacle. With USB ports to replace the stock one that came with the boat. Little cup holder here I had laying around. Works decent. I actually got these cup holders off of Amazon and it just rides down in there. It's just about a perfect fit. And then just more storage for all the tackle and medical supplies and all that. And then this little spring right here is awesome. I got this at Cabela's. As you can see, the door is staying open on its own. So when you want to shut it, you just fold the spring and the door will collapse. When you pick it up, the spring straightens and holds itself right up. Great little trick I found. Alright. And a little more view of this beautiful night.
and right here we got the bimini top three bow from empire covers so far so good been on here about three years now and i still have the uh six gallon gas tank i did upgrade to a nine for a short period of time but uh decided that i really don't don't need that much fuel i'll just bring an extra gallon with me if i think i do and these plano boxes from uh walmart are absolutely amazing they're actually divided in four sections on the inside so i keep some tools in there and flares and different things like that there's the the life jackets and i got some buoys tucked in back there And a great place to mount your navigation light for the back of the boat is right up here. The light itself tucks into that little hole. And then the other end tucks up behind the console. And I have a, a folding paddle. And this is actually a dry bag that keeps uh, all my lake maps and stuff in it. Yeah, and anybody thinking about putting the uh, transducer on the trolling motor, I just wrapped uh, some of this stuff around it, and you just make three or four loops and just leave it loose, so as the motor rotates, it's not going to bind up on the, on the cable and snap it. So as long as you leave it nice and loose, I just covered it with this to give it a little more protection. So that's... Uh, that's how I did mine, and it's been working great for a year now so far. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.